Hey look, we're back. And where we last left off, we had been a giant T-Rex. We got in the woods and mounted the best gun of the game. And we're going to mount to the one of the last guns we're going to use for the rest of the game. So now this gun that we have, we are just utterly going to trick this the crap out. But first, let's... Yeah, actually, no, yeah, first I'm just going to put all of my points into this gun right here. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Let's give me... There we go. Give me 60 range. And then just... Bam. Feels good. I do want burst off of this. So give me burst. Thank you. Now let's see if I can head back to that warehouse or is it going to send me straight back to the precinct? Yeah, so before we do the next cutscene and stuff, we're going to head back to the warehouse. We're, we're supposed to go to the fourth floor and, conf and conf uh, confront Eve, but I think we're going to head to the warehouse now that I have a better upgraded gun, you know? Alright, let's do this. I'm ready for you now, giant crab. I hope I'm ready for you anyway. Kind of embarrassing if I wasn't. Come on, load a little bit faster, please. It's fine, you're an older game. I won't, like, BS you for trying your best. I believe that either this episode or the next episode will be the last. Alright, so, let me show you this gun. We have two attacks. So, uh, not there. There we go. Ow. Boom there. Boom there. So, it works this exact same way if we had multiple bullets, but we can do is something like attack, and then use our second turn, our second part of our turn, to use a heal. So, bam, heal. If they die, that's fine. Just take it out. But now you see what, the, what I was talking about, how eventually our gun gets so stupid we do things like, oh, my handgun has shotgun bullets with uh, acid damage and fire damage and all this other kind of damage. Yeah, it gets really dumb. And with how uh, damage works in this game, the higher our gun goes, how do I describe it? So let's say we had a, a gun with a damage of 100. Each bullet isn't going to do a flat 100, right? Each bullet is going to do uh, a scaling to that 100. So the first bullet does 50, the second bullet does 50. Or if we have one bullet, all 100 does it at a single time. So the reason you want to get a pistol or a handgun is because it has the quickest AT charge next to a machine gun, but most machine guns have multiple fire. I think the animal from over here, right? Yeah. So you want to get a pistol, so you want to do one shot that does stupid amounts of damage so you can keep moving, and then quick recharge, uh, because, you know, it's a pistol, then keep moving, and you just keep repeating. See if I can take you out fast. Nope. Ooh, nice. Bang. See? Now I'm doing stupid amounts of damage. I'm coming for you, crap. Before I was low level, now I am the master. My guns are just dumb now. <laughs> My handgun is shooting shotgun shells. What you got? Ooh, offense two. We will put this on the last gun we're ever gonna be using again. 
Uh, do I need more tools on me? No, I don't. That said, let's take our... I forgot to take the bullets out of the other gun. Whatever, I have stupid amounts of ammo. Uh, okay. Grab the item here. Defense, too. I think this is also going to be, like, the last chess piece I use, probably. So this has a base of... 36... This jacket's better, so, bam. And we're soon, when we go back to the station, we're going to put all of our stuff onto that chest piece there with this. A tool, we can do it now. So, I don't mind losing the auto, whatever. So what we're going to do is equip the B jackets, and then we're going to take this, and take all the pluses off of this. Boom. That is the last jacket we're gonna wear. Oop, my cord's getting a little bit tangled up here. There we go. Why are they making me climb down this? They could just cut scene or put in a loading screen. At least I it looks good. No, oh, whatever. Uh This for it. Let's go, giant crap. So what we're going to do is we're gonna pop a haste, and then we're gonna shoot. All right, let's get moving. Ow! Dodge! Ha <laughs> ha! Bang! I can get two more shots in because of haste. Hey, yup. Now that I upgraded my gun, this is child's play. So, let's get another haste and a single shot. Get over here. Bang, bang. Bang. Yeah. And a reward for that? It's a rocket launcher. And it's just as strong as you'd expect it to be. Just heavy. It's, in fact, it's one of the only two rocket launchers in this entire game. Ooh, what's this? Ow. Stop. 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 Pick up the key. Oh, 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 God. This hurts. This hurts a lot, apparently. All right. I don't see why I had to have this delay when picking up the key. Just, just pick it up, Aya. Is there a way to turn that off, or do I just have to, like, time it? I cannot remember. Go, go, go. Got it. Get out of there! There we go. Okay, that was the warehouse. Now that we have the proper amounts of power, that was child's play. Oh god, it's gonna make me cutscene, or not cutscene. I wish it cutscene. Me climbing me all the way back up this. So, before we go and confront Eve, we're gonna head back to the precinct, fully use all our tools that we've been holding off on, and items and junk. And then we're gonna go, go confront Eve. Because I can't. No, no, no. I'm glad it's not a cutscene now. Never mind, I'll stop complaining. Because I believe this might be the final time we have control of Aya to go to the precinct and stuff. Don't quote me on that. But just to be safe, I'm going to go. Beep beep. Oh yeah, also you can do really dumb stuff like shoot twice and then go into your parasite mode or liberate mode. You yeah. This is basically the best command in the game, or best upgrade in the game, because you can do just obscenely stupid things with it. Now that I'm not complaining, it's, it's fun that you get to do stupid stuff with it, but you know. One of these days, I'm going to do a club only playthrough of this game. Not today, but someday.
Come on. Oh, we got some more enemies in here. What we got? Two spiders? Okay. Uh, dodge that. Move here. Bang, bang. Ah. I wanted to try to get the first shot, but whatever. They're dead now. Get my ammo. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Come on. I need to head back to that precinct. I need to actually finish upgrading these guns to the to the stupid degree. Ah. Then again, with how strong this gun is, I really don't mind fights anymore. Because it is really done how much dumb how much damage I'm doing now. Ugh. No, no, I'm not taking that. I'm just gonna haste. And then I'm gonna shoot you. That's right, son, I can cheat. Uh, shoot there, and then we'll use a heal three. But yeah, this is a point where it's like, alright, you play this game the, the entire way through. Enjoy being able to do dumb crap. Nah, fam. Good night. It's just fine. I always like that in video games, you know? When you finally built up to the point where you were just now a god. That's always just been my my personal favorite part of video games. I know certain people don't like the concept of power fantasy, but I absolutely adore it. I worked hard. Why don't? I, why shouldn't I get rewarded for it, right? I had to deal with all this crap up to this point, so let's break crap and have fun with it. Anyway, that was the warehouse. You got the rocket launcher there. The rocket launcher is about as strong as you expect it to be. It does stupid amounts of damage, but in turn, you know, you get limited amount of rockets. Uh, it's kind of slow. You only shoot one rocket at a time. It's basically how the rocket launcher is in Resident Evil, right? Sure, you get this really strong weapon, but you only get one bullet of it. They're incredibly rare, etc., etc. So it's just something you generally only want to use on bosses. Though, at the point where you get this gun, there's only a couple bosses left, so it's kind of like, eh. Alright. First off, let's get this ammo. Thank you. Let's get the medicine. Thank you. And let's take out those tools. Uh, discard junk. And store equipment. So we will not be needing this anymore. We need that gun. We need one at your chest. And we'll keep the rocket launcher just so I can show a case it off. Now let's see. Let's sort by damage. Now, how many tools did I have in here? Can I put this away yet? Nope. So give me this. And this. Store equipment. Where's that machine gun? I think it was this one we put a lot of crap into. One... Two and three. Let's tune this crap up. It has a decent amount of crap, so I don't mind doing that there. So let's take. What, no, which which gun did I have like seventeen points into? Come on, where is it? It was a machine gun. Was it the M10 maybe? Oh, I can just do it from here. Yeah, that's... Oh, I never realized that. Let's see. So what do I care about? I do kind of care about that. Anything else I really care about? Not really. So I do care about... All the bonuses on here. So give me those. 
I do care about... What does this do? Frost effects? Nah. Frost effects. Which one is this? Acid effect? I do care about that. Okay. And now we're going to use this on this to take the bonuses off this and make a stupidly strong gun. Store equipment. You can take back this and this. Is that everything? Seems like it. And our final result is a gun with 104 attack and 68 range. Feels really good. Oh, it also has a shotgun-like ammo with acid rounds, which poison. So, yeah, feels good. Feels really good. Let's reload this bad boy. And now we're going to go fight Aya. Or not Aya, Eve. Or go confront Eve, at least. Again, I still think it's weird that I'm not just giving stupid amounts of mod permits to utterly trick out my guns at this point. Especially at this point when Daniels is running the investigation or running the precinct. But, whatever. I understand. It's for gameplay reasons. Lore reasons, there's no reason for it. If they ever remade this game, they probably had to find some lore reason to make it like that, you know? Alright, so where do we need to go? To the museum. <laughs> Come on. With our absolutely destructively broken gun. Ooh, my phone. Still on. Let me turn that off real fast so it doesn't start making noise. There we go. Come on. So, to confront Eve, we're going to save again. There's no reason not to play it safe. So we're going to start off by saving. Ring, 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 ring. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. I'd like to save, please. Thank you. And up the stairs we go. Well, not the, up the stairs. Up the elevator. Remember that creepy blocked off place before... That was like covered with all that slime. Well, now that we beat the Tyrannosaurus Rex, it's no longer in the way. Wait, what? What? Did I miss a trigger again? Oh my god. Uh, I missed a trigger again. Is it in Clamps Room, I guess? Come on. Oh, no, he is just... Oh, he is... Uh, he is dead. He is very dead. I still want to know where Daniels and... uh, What's his face went, though? Daniels and uh, Maeda. Oh, great. Now I gotta start... Walking around, looking for where the trigger is. I thought it was just go to the fourth floor. Give me a second to think. Um, let's see, so you do that... Let me explore a little bit. Now that I have my uh, clamps key. Why is that letting me through here? There we go. Hmm. There we go.
Alright, Scorpion, let's do this. Oop, dodged. Bang, bang. Ow. Bang, bang. Cure Pete, useless. Might as well split all the places that we had the... Oh! Maybe here? Or is this where I came from? This is where I originally came from with the Triceratops? Yeah, it is. Here's the Triceratops room. Maybe something in here? Oh, yep, found it. Yay! Look, like you're not going to revive all these other monsters and dinosaurs? Seems like a waste. <laughs> oh, that's silly. They did that on purpose. <gasps> like, the, the T-Rex's jaw just opening, going like... <gasps> Okay, we got the bio slime there. What we got in here? Oh, I see you. I see you. What we got? A tool and another gun with double, with two actions. Huh, neat. Don't really need that though. No, oh, my lord. Look, I think you guys are heavily outclassed at this point, but you know what? You guys do you. Bang, bang. That feels so good. Bang, bang. Being this powerful just feels really good, you know? I love the power fantasy aspect. Alright. Oh, yep, yep. This is the right way. Oh, you hear that? You can hear music very softly in the background. And all this disgusting bile slime. Oh, you can... Oh, this is going to seep into Aya's shoes. Oh, this is nasty. Eve's on the other side. Bring it, Eve. Oh, wow. She just stripped. Just peckered it. Eve. Shoot her. Aya, what are you waiting for? Oh, that's creepy. Shoot her. Shoot her. Shoot her. No, don't. No, no this, don't disturb the baby crap. Shoot her right now. Oh, my God, Aya. Aya, please, just shoot her. What are you waiting for? Oh my god. It's a wonder you made it this far. Hmm. So you are going to congratulate me on this birth? No, you should shoot her. What are you planning to do, Eve? What do you mean? Perhaps you could help me answer that, Aya. Why do humans give birth? Hmm? Maya. Shoot. Why are you walking closer to her? You have a gun. Shoot her. What are you doing? Why are you not shooting her? Aya, why are you not shooting her? Stop walking closer. Shoot her right now. Pop two in her brain right now. Use Liberate. Oh my god. Oh no! She's summoning the slime! This is a really cool... Oh, okay. It started off looking really cool, and then it kind of got... Eh. Man, these cutscenes did not age all that well. 
It's fine, though. It's an older game. So she's too pregnant to move, so she's getting a giant mitochondria blob man thing to carry her? Why did you not shoot her? Aya, for what purpose? For what conceivable purpose did you not shoot her right then and there? Uh... Whatever. Are you okay, Aya? Aya! Daniel, Maeda, you both made it out okay? Yeah, we barely made it though. Do you see that ugly mama? That that was everyone from Central Park. What? That you're saying Lorraine's a part of that thing too? I'm sorry, Daniel. Er, yes, it's become apparent that as to what medication Melissa has been taking. What was she on? She's been administered immunosuppressants? Immunosuppressants? For what? Why? Here's a story. Melissa had a transplant when she was a kid. Transplant? What kind of transplant? And here's where everything wraps up all together. Yes, it seems that she got one of your sister's kidneys. Dun dun dun! After Maya died in an accident. A kidney transplant? So Melissa got Maya's kidney? So, you were in a car crash. That's how your mother and your sister died. Your mother and your sister were donors. What? Really? I never knew that. Your mother's organs couldn't be transplanted after the accident. So Maya's kidney was transplanted into young Eve. No, I'm sorry. The young Melissa. She had a kidney failure. Then Eve's kidney is really Maya's kidney. The intern that was present at the operation was, you guessed it, Dr. Clamp. Our main man Clamp wanted to become a doctor. The doctors that were present during the operation were all surprised, and they all screamed that the kidney was hot. I mean, it makes sense that a kidney was warm, but hot? That'd be kind of weird. Then Eve is... It's hard for me to say, but the original was Ma present in Maya. Eve killed the host's brain, cultured the kidney, and obtained her own physical body. Then what happened to Melissa? In her case, the immunosuppressant drug served to act, to act as a catalyst. In Japan, Eve targeted a girl who had undergone a transplant, a kidney transplant to be exact, and she was taking the same immunosuppressant drugs. This was all so that Eve could have a uterus to plant the fertilized egg. In order to transplant organs, it is necessary for the HLA, HLA type to match. It lives symbiotically with other cells, so it's necessary to take immunosuppressants to control the immunity and avoid rejection. While being controlled by Eve, Melissa felt her body change, but she finally got the lead part in the opera. If she had gone to the doctor, she would have been told to give up the part. So in order to avoid rejection, she kept taking the drugs, and after taking so much, she was so weak that Eve was able to take over her physical body. That's how she transformed into mitochondria Eve. Lord dump! So then, Maya is... Maya's the original Eve. In reality, it's Maya's mitochondria. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, that buzzing. Roger, commencing operations, sir. Finally, the time has come to put our power to the test. Don't be impudent, Lynch. Of course you'd be named Lynch. You didn't have come to this. Yes, sir. Forgive me, Admiral. Cut Calling all fighter jets, we have just received permission to attack. Commence operation. Head for the Statue of Liberty. As planned, helicopter, one, helicopter team one will prepare for plan two. You know that she can melt people from afar. Why are you flying towards her? Team two. Uh, team two will search and the rest will do their best to impede further advancement. Sir! Why are you getting anywhere near her? You know that she can melt people from the inside out from many miles away. Why are you sending helicopters and jets after her? What's your plan here? Ugh. I want one game where the military isn't just like dumb and just throw people's lives away for no good reason, you know? What? Are you sure? The Navy's made their move. What? 
We can't allow this. We'll be repeating what happened yesterday with the Jets. Exactly. Thank you, Maeda. Oh, God. All these fires. Stop flying towards her. Why are you flying towards her? You have intel that she can melt people from afar. Why are you flying near this thing? You have all this information at this point. You have, what, five to six days? No, Lorraine. Lorraine can't be part of that thing. The huge creature, or no, those cells. They must be where Eve's giving birth. Where's she giving birth? Yes. The huge creature will act as a barrier to protect the ultimate being. You have all this information. What, six days, five, six days worth to know that she can melt people from the inside out from a distance away. You deserve that. You're all too stupid to live. You dumb idiots. Stop flying close to the giant thing. Don't shoot rockets. What are you wasting your time for? Now you're dead. Nah, fam. You ain't getting away either. Oh, God. That explosion effects. I want to say that I've seen that in some like early movies or some crap. Lorraine! That's not Lorraine Daniel. The helicopter's coming! Everyone duck! Cover your heads, Ans! Maeda, you can, you can stop cowering now. Officer Brave of the NYPD, correct? Ma'am, it's my duty to accompany you to the aircraft carrier. Accompany her? To the what? Welcome aboard the Navy's Pride and Joy. The, n the Nimitz? The Nimitz? The Nimitz. I'm Williams, and I'll command this... And I command the ship. Sorry to have you come on such short notice. Hey, you better not put I in any danger here. Oh, they're putting her exactly in danger, buddy. You. You. Who do you think you are talking to Admiral that way? It's quite all right, Lynch. After all, he is right. What? What do you mean? You're the only one who can... You're the only one that can't be ignited by her. I'm asking you to get out on a chopper and nuke the creature. Hold on, I can't fly a helicopter. You don't know that. Not to worry. The chopper's already been set to auto. She won't have any problems. So, so she just needs to fire from a distance where she can't be ignited? Unfortunately, the weapon needs to be fired at close range in order to work. And we can't move in that close since we will be ignited. Well. I'll do it. Aya, no way! You're not going up there! Our fate lies in your hands, Aya. Okay, Daniel? That that thing's not Lorraine. Do it for Lorraine too, Aya. W wait, Aya, please take this. Come off it, man. We don't have time for that right now. <laughs> no, wait, no, do it, do it. Come on, this is what's important. Yes, of course, er, uh, Aya, please be careful up there, okay? Of course, I'll be fine. Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> so that's kind of a red herring a little bit. But it's fine. It's fine. Maya. I would love a remake of this game. Because I want to see what they do to make these models look just so much better. There's. I guess I can always hope that if the Final Fantasy VII remake does. When the Final Fantasy VII Remake does well, that will eventually get all these older classic games getting remakes. I would adore a Parasite Eve Remake. Can helicopters really fly like that? Creatures with a view. Switch to formation two.
What? What's happening here? From the last battle, we were able to anticipate this attack. We're pitching this way for a reason. What do you mean? We will access your shield so that you will live to attack the creature. What? No! I'm not doing this without your... We're entering the fire range. Prepare to attack. All right, please move away from me now. We can't abandon our duty. Besides, we're already within range. So, I have one problem with this that I'll explain after the cutscene. This is insane. This is Christmas Eve, I put a curse on my own body. Why me? Why is this happening to me? I, I don't understand. But I don't care anymore. Because Eve, I'm the one that can destroy you once and for all. Maya, I'll end this and let you rest peacefully. Mmm, bile slime everywhere. And here we have that original scene, but even more bile slime on the Statue of Liberty. Now she's truly crying and she's bleeding everywhere. I wonder was I've always wondered why they make it so that the Statue of Liberty cries. Please don't knock down the Statue of Liberty. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Hmm. We did it! Well done. That's magnificent. Return to base, Aya. No. It's not over yet. She's calling me out. Let's go, you big. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to insult her like that. Let's go. Aya, come back now. It's too dangerous to continue. Return to base at once. We will plan. But yes, I will save my progress. Are you still? Will you still save? Yes. We're gonna save here. All right. Yes, Aya, please. I need to give you... Oh, bye. Just just hung up. So I had several problems with that... Forget it. She's signed off already. So I had several problems with that plan. First off, if you can fly the helicopters automatically, why don't you just have people not in the helicopters fly automatically? Second... Second, if you could... Oh, yeah... Second, why did you need someone close to fire a missile if you can also fly these things automatically? I understand they're supposed to be doing doing it for sake of tension, just to build up drama, but like, whatever. All right, I got my gun, got my PE. Let me reload my gun first off. Oop, we're other way. And we will pull out the rocket launcher just so I can show you. By the way, yeah, see that? 128, 202. Yeah, yeah. So it was you. Maya. Hmm. That must be the name of my host. Let me guess. Your sister? You have the ability to evolve. Watching the side of this doomed species. She's not wrong. Humans aren't doomed. Yeah, we are. If my mitochondria has the ability to evolve, it will evolve to get rid of you. <laughs> Love that sense of humor of yours, girl. Why is it that humans kill to get rid of monsters like you? Humans kill each other, kill other creatures, and they even kill their own kind. We have our reasons. Uh, and you sure is a good enough reason for us to kill. <laughs> All organizations have something called a territory. The territory is guarded from natural enemies, but until now, 
humans had no such natural enemy. That is, that is what allowed them to prosper to this point. You beings must think of your prosperity as history. But you're wrong! We mitochondria have lived within the human being and have allowed you to prosper. What? <laughs> we mitochondria have made you create the perfect environment for us. Humans have come to rely on civilization and have lost touch with their innate physical abilities. Can you see that is the perfect scenario? What? Then what you're saying is that humans were kept alive for the sake of mitochondria? Hmm. You humans have served as transportation vehicles for us. What do you mean? Vehicles to transport us to the time the mitochondria would become free again. <laughs> but now you see the vehicle is no longer needed anymore. From now on, the mitochondria will become human beings and rule this earth. Then if I shoot you in the face with a rocket. Bye. All right. Ow. Ow. So, we're gonna start off throwing a haste. Ow. Jesus Christ. So, we were going to use an attack, but I think we're gonna use a full recover here. And then just keep dodging around. Ooh, don't get grabbed by that. Oh, 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 what is that hitbox? Ow. Please stop. Please stop. Let me go. I don't want to be here. Anyway. See? Just AoE blast. No, stop trying to grab me. Get your grab hands away from me. Ah, ah, okay. Alright, back to the actual gun I want to use. Nope. Alright, we're gonna pop a shot and use a haste. Ooh, easy dodges. Pop two shots. And because we have a shotgun blast, uh, can I dodge? Yeah, I can only, can't dodge all those. So we're gonna pop another shot. Throw in another haste. Bye. Bye. Nah. Bang. 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 Oh. Yeah, I can get another shot off. Uh, can I dodge all of these? Okay. So we're gonna get one sh better yet. We're going to use a heal three and then use a haste as well. And now you can see why this ability is broken, right? I'm basically a red mage right now, dual casting. Nah, fam. Bang, bang. Oh, sounds like a part of <gasps> Oh, God. Ow. Okay. All right. I see. I see how, how that is. I'm going to use... <laughs> Where is it? Oh, that I already. Oh, my chest piece used it earlier. Anyway, I'm just gonna use a cure four and pop another shot. All right, keep moving. Ooh, good dodge. Let's get a shot and a haste. Bang. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll give you points for trying. But enough of this nonsense. Watch and learn what evolution really means. Bye, Maya Eve, mitochondria Eve. Phase two. And that's what our liberation form looks like. So it's, it looks kind of similar. So that's basically like a final form. Uh, we will wait not yet yep here and then a haste bang haste bye 
Ow. Bang into heal. Bang, bang. Move. Ah! That's annoying. Um... Bang into... Haste? Actually, let's use slow on you. I wonder, would slow even work on you? Maybe. Ow! Well, I mean, if you're gonna be a punk about it... Into a haste. Bang, haste. Yeah, that's right, I can remove stiffness. Bye. Into a heal. I should use pre-raise here. So basically how to dodge that attack is where she, she will shoot where you were when she rose up into the sky, and then you just kind of got to run. Bang. Pre-raise. Ow. Bang. Into switch off my jacket. So you re... Oh, can I not do that on my... So I can only do that on my second turn. That's good to know. Oh, because it eats up my entire turn. Okay, that's fine. Back to this jacket. Ow. Here, into a detox. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, I'm gonna get hit here. Shoot into a haste. But you see, imagine if we had a gun that shot seven bullets, there would be no chance to dodge half these attacks. Uh, I'm already hasted, so let's just get a second bullet in there. Ow. That's fine. We're gonna haste into heal. Come on. Ow. Into another haste, I guess. Gotta move faster to dodge that. There we go, see? Just two shots. Ah. Keep running our way up. Bang, bang. There we go. I... I don't understand. No! You can't be our natural enemy! No! Uh... <laughs> Voice actor, I am not. She's melting! Melting! Ah, what a world! Jesus Christ, that's creepy. Don't you smile at me as you're dying? Oh, God. <laughs> they did it on a purpose. Oh, you thought we were done? Nah. There must have been some mitochondria that underwent a different type of evolution. Think about it, Eve. I mean, she, she can't. She's dead. I don't know why you want a dead person to think about it. Day six, liberation. But yeah, we ain't done. But we will save here. Because there is one thing left to do. And we will get on to that in the next episode. In the final episode of that. Anyway, for anyone out there watching, thank you. Later!